One of the most famous monuments in the world, certainly one of the biggest, the Washington Monument right behind me. And Representative Jack Kemp is going to be here in just a few minutes for an interview. But right now, the summer season has to get on the move to the first of three bouts. The first one features somebody that we've seen on NBC Sports World before. Undefeated Tony Ayala will be going up against middleweight opponent Jerry Cheatham. Summer sun, something's begun. Astrodome in Houston, Texas. I'm Marv Albert along with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, and we're set for a scheduled 10-round junior middleweight bout featuring 18-year-old Tony Ayala out of San Antonio, Texas, and the more experienced 22-year-old Jerry Cheatham from Phoenix, Arizona. And Ferdy, there's uh, kind of bad blood between these two. They don't like each other very much. Well, I think it's Ayala that's got the bad blood. He read some remarks that Cheatham made when a, a bout two months ago fell through. Cheatham made the terrible mistake of saying possibly Ayala was trying to duck him, was scared of him. Well, it's bad enough to fight Ayala when he's not mad. But when he's mad, Torito graduates into Toro. So I look for a heck of a match right off. All right, Ayala, 11-0, 10 by knockout, coming off an impressive victory over Pat Hallisey last month in San Remo, Italy. All, right, all set. Let's go to the ring. Let's go to the ring. And gentlemen, introducing junior middleweights for 10 rounds or less. On my left, fighting out of the blue corner from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 154 and three-quarter pounds. Let's welcome the, the town for Texas, Tony Ayala. Tony El Corrigo. Who hails yeah. from San Antonio, Texas. And here at the Astrodome, they will be rooting for this young man. As he goes up against 22-year-old Jerry Cheatham. A young man who has never been off his feet or stopped in 38 professional fights. His record is 31 and 5 with two draws. He's won 21 by knockout. A three-time Arizona Golden Gloves champion. Was rated as high as fourth by the WBC in 1980. In fact, was scheduled to fight then junior middleweight champion Morris Hope, but hurt his hand. Cheetah known as a combination boxer, puncher, moves well, also likes to grab and hold. And Tony Ayala and Jerry Cheatham are not the great fans of uh, one and another. In fact, they were taunting each other uh, before the uh, start of the bout. Sparks were flying between the two. They really have a genuine dislike for each other. And this should be an aggressive first round. Ayala 11 and 0. He's won 10 by knockout here at NBC. We have followed his uh, career as one of tomorrow's champions. Uh, Tony has been making the move step by step, has looked better and better. This is the most experienced man he has faced. Cheatham's already bounced a combination off of um, Tony's chin. Maldonado came out like that in April and put him down in the first round. There's a good hook. A good hook by Ayala that drives Cheatham back into the ropes. Get him back with a good combination. Opening minute, first round. Jerry Cheatham with a slight height advantage, has two inches on Tony Ayala. Torito, the baby bull. Ayala in his last fight in May in San Remo, Italy, stopped Pat Hallisey in the fourth round. Again, Ayala able to land. Three-punch combination by Ayala. Now he has Cheatham on the ropes, but Cheatham is pulling him back. Ayala doing his homework early, going right to the body, and comes back on top of that um, Cheatham guard, which is getting held lower and lower. And showing that awesome punching power. Right hand by Ayala. Ayala looks like a coiled spring, didn't he? Stalking. His eyes never leaving the face of Cheatham. So to Ayala trading ferociously for this uh, bout. Used eight sparring partners in getting ready. And I say used for several broken ribs among the eight. I think you mean abused, don't you? How much yes. time we got left in that round? 
I don't think you'd want to spar with uh, Ayala. He follows the old principle of Joe Lewis. He said they're in there to earn, to help me earn my living, and I go as hard as I can. So does Roberto Duran, and so does Tony Ayala. A good oh. hook. By Ayala, flush on the face of Cheatham. And we approach the 10 second mark of round one. It's all Ayala. NBC Sports presents the summer season. Brought to you by Coast Soap, the refreshing soap that brings you back to life. Coast deodorant soap, the eye opener. By the Miller Brewing Company, brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by Menon. Menon products take care of people who take care of themselves. And this is round two scheduled for 10 junior middleweights. Tony Ayala on the left, Jerry Cheatham on the right. First round, all Ayala. He really stunk Cheatham. Into that round, Ayala walked back with a great big smile on his face. He had just said to Cheatham, you respect me now, and he walked back to his corner laughing. He is tough. In the corner, Lou Dubin and Tony Ayala Sr. has told him, don't throw wide stuff, go right down the middle with it. Cheatham fighting back. They want him to jab and come. Look at that jab the way it lands. Jab right down the middle and then the right cross after us. Ayala scoring on virtually every blow that he lands. Flory attempted by Cheatham. Ayala showing his entire repertoire here over these first two rounds. And Ayala doesn't like the referee to push him back when they break. He wants to stand right there. Cheatham trying to fight back bravely. Halfway mark, round two. Eighteen-year-old Tony Ayala out of San Antonio, Texas, lives only minutes away from the Alamo in uh, San Antonio. Small uh, for junior middleweight, but has that tremendous punching power as he's put on display right here. Once Tony gets you on the ropes, you can't get away from him. He's got you pinned no matter where you go, and then he follows you as you slide around the ropes and goes at it again. Tony Ayala, the third oldest of the fighting Ayala brothers. The others are Sammy and Mike, and there's a fourth brother, 14-year-old Paulie Ayala, who Tony insists is going to be the best of uh, all of the fighting Ayalas. He's been fighting since he's seven, and he's got 40-some-odd fights under his belt all right, and he's standing, sitting right next to us, watching his brother in action, and he's looking at him with a smile on his face, as well he should. Fifteen seconds left. This is round two from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Cheatham landing the combination. And we're final second, second round. 